increase the power. Turbines to speed. Here, ready to move off. Hello toy collectors and YouTubers, this is Film School 93 with another Authentic Legends and Collectibles toy review. And today's toys, we'll be reviewing Funko's Batman 1966 TV series Batmobile, Batman and Robin action figure set taken from the ABC Television Network's hit 1960s TV series starring Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin. All right, let's take a look at the packaging here. They've done a great job at Funko on the design of this box. I'm very impressed. Here's the Batman TV logo in the corner. I love it. With Batmobile, Batman, and Robin, the bat symbol on the side, then fully posable action figure. Love this artwork of the Batmobile. And then take a look here at the corner. It says here, if I can show you, ages or age three plus. So this can be played with, uh, by, with a child. I love it. So it's a child's toy, not a, just a collectible. And here's the side of the box. Now let's take a look at the back. So here you can see we have Batman and Robin with the Batmobile action figure. Uh, that's what's on the box. And then over here on the side, you get Catwoman, Batgirl, Mr. Freeze, King Tut, and Bookworm action figures. It says collect them all. I just hopefully, I, I want Funko hopefully to release a Joker uh, action figure, a Penguin action figure, and a Riddler action figure. I just... That'd be great to go along with this set. It'd be incomplete without them. So here, let's take a look at the Batmobile out of the box. For being so small, this has a lot of detail. This is a very, very beautiful sculpt they've done uh, at uh, Funko. And I'm trying to open a hood here, so it looks like it doesn't open. So I don't think any doors or their hoods or, or anything open. It's just one solid piece, which is fine. And I love the, the art deco on this. The, the paint job looks great, and the, the wheels look beautiful. Everything looks silvery and shiny and, and just all chrome. And, of course, here's the back of the Batmobile. And I like I like how they've done this. This is really cool. This is, I'm, I've been waiting for this for a long time, done in this size for the action figures at a 3.75 action figure. Let's see if the steering wheel turns. Nope, it doesn't. Well, let's go and take another uh, shot of the Batmobile here at the top. And this is, it looks really great. If, if I could focus in a little bit, let me see if I can here. You can see the Bat phone, a fire extinguisher, and a gear shift. So there's not much detail left out on this Batmobile. I'm very, very impressed with Funko on this this sculpt. It's done beautifully, beautifully done uh, with the with the clear plastic windshield, if you will, in the back. And look at the chrome wheels with the bat symbols on the side. And once again in the back with the exhausts. This looks really cool. Then the main big exhaust in the back. Look at that jetpack, which I can fire fire out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool. Well, then set things on fire, though. And, of course, this is just pretty simple sculpt at the bottom for the of the car. And I like how you don't really see the aluminum spokes that hold the wheels together. So that's really cool. I'm very impressed with that. And, of course, there's a copyright logo of, of the Batmobile. But this is done really well. I'm very impressed on how they designed this little car. <laughs> and there's just a the front shot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the action figures now, shall we? Here is the Cape Crusader himself, Adam West as Batman, looking like Batman in all of his glory. The sculpt is beautiful on this. I am just so excited. I feel like a little kid with a bat symbol painted on his chest right in the middle. The artwork's done great. The detail on the belt, the perfect paint apps on this is absolutely beautiful. They didn't miss anything on this. Let's go and do the Articulation test, make sure nothing bends, tears, breaks. Obviously, this looks really good here. And the head will go and turn. And it seems a little wobbly or a little awkward. I'm not for sure how they built this, so I don't want to break it. So I won't do any more on that. But you can bend at the arms as well. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, let's take a look here at the legs. And we're going to do the, they can bend too at the knees. Of course, up at the, up the waist, they can bend as well. So, yeah. This is really good, and I love the detail on the, on the boots. And here's the back of it, of it, and the cape is vinyl, plastic vinyl, not cloth. Kind of that's kind of a letdown for me, but oh, other than that, I think it's a great job on this. Here is Burt Ward as Robin. I love the sculpt on that. Robin's always been my favorite, and they've done a really good good job on it. I even look in the back here at where his hair is at. You can see the where his uh, band's at. 
Isn't that kind of cool? They didn't miss any detail on that. So I'm really, really impressed. Um, as far as looking like Burt Ward, it kind of looks more like a buddy of mine, Gary. <laughs> but other than that, look at this. Let's go and test the arms out, make sure that they work. All right. And this other arm works as well. Get my other bend at the bend at the elbow. Perfect. I love the detail on the belt. And then go and turn the head. It's not as bad as 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 Rob or I'm sorry, Batman's, but this could possibly break. So I don't really want to turn it too much. Then we'll go and do the the test on the legs. Bend at the knees. Perfect. Love the detail and even the tan look of his costume on his leggings are just like in the TV series. And I love the way they designed the boots on this. It is absolutely perfect in my opinion. I think. Once again, Funko did a great job uh, with these action figures. And what can I say? Oh, yeah, the vinyl cape as well, not a cloth cape. I know, like like I said, it's a letdown for me. I hope these can work in the Batmobile, and we're getting ready to find out here how they sit in there. Now, here's what they look like next to the Batmobile, and I'll go and grab Batman and put him in first, and I'll go and move Robin out of the way. Okay, I'm going to try to put Batman in here. Like I said, these capes are vinyl plastic, and they're it's going to be tough to try to get him in a seat, so... I'm doing my best here, as you can see, trying to get them adjusted. It's going to be a little slug, and of course, it's just, yeah, there we go. I think I got him in. He's kind of looking at the sky, but Robin's not too bad. No, Robin just slide in perfect, no problem. And, you know, once again, that vinyl cape's kind of adding that spring, if you will. Uh, but there we go. The Cape Crusaders are in their car, looking great. Here's a top shot just to see what they look like, kind of looking at the stars. Well, chum. What do you look? You like the stars? <laughs> uh, it's time to go, chum. Not a moment to lose. They did a good job on this. I'm, 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 I'm impressed and with what Funko did here. And once again, the detail with the Batmobile, the detail with Batman and Robin inside, you can't miss it. It's just absolutely beautiful. And what can I say? So there you go. Let's go to Gotham City, chum. Here's a size comparison, if you will, of the Funko Batman and Robin action figure Batmobile next to the Mattel Batman and Robin action figure with the Batmobile. And they're very, very small in, in size compared to the Mattel's action figures. I like Mattel's still kind of only for the fact that the, I like better paint apps, better detail, and the sculpt and the cloth capes is a, definitely a plus. And uh, we'll do one more a size comparison here, if you will. Um, with these guys next to the superpowers action figures of Batman and Robin and the Batmobile. Once again, you can see how small they are compared to these original toys that I played with back in the day. And these were like my go-to when I was playing superpowers was Batman and Robin. And here we go. Uh, this is a size comparison of Superman Funko out of their box thing they did in March next to uh, Batman and Robin. And then this up to a, a Mattel, a smaller version of Michael Keaton Batman. So you can see that these are very small, so they're going to almost be in their own category unless you use your imagination when playing with them. Then they can work with everything else. And there you have it, the 1966 Batman Funko action figures with Batmobile. I got the Funko's Batman 1966 TV series Batmobile Batman and Robin action figure set from Amok Time Toys, where they have beyond excellent customer service and super, super fast shipping. Just click on the link below in the description and get your Batman and 1966 TV series Batmobile Batman and Robin action figure set today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And in the meantime, MTFBWY always.